Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tri5 Guy, and this week we're knocking out some dints out of a 1965 Rambler Ambassador. So guys, working on this uh, 65 Rambler Ambassador hard top. I'm just gonna turn this light off, there you go. Now, I'm using a uh, stud gun to pull out this crease. Now, I've already ground it out, but you can see there's a line across here that went all the way across to here. And this is where I started pulling and it ended here. So from here to here, there was a crease. And I've got a picture and I'll, I'll uh, show you that. But if you look down, if you can visually see that, I don't know if you can pick it up in the video or not, but you can see where the studs are is about where it should be. And then it kind of like, uh, kind of like goes straight and then it wallows back in again. You can probably just detect that and then where it's been pulled, it's where it should be. They've got a slight curve from here to here. There's a slight curve. So that's what we're trying to achieve. The crease, you know, started from back there, went all the way down. So all this section is where it should be. And then I've got from there to there, and I'll just come back when that's all back out. So I've pulled that crease out of there. And now I'll just grind off all these, or cut them off and then grind off all these, uh, these pins here. Okay, all the draw pins have been uh, cut off and ground down. And uh, so that's pretty much pulled back out very close to, to where it should be. So now I'm going to 80 grit this whole area down, probably like that and then just put a skim of uh, filler on it, just to smooth that out. Okay, this is the uh, first side. Um, that big crease down the side's all gone. But we started here, went all the way. This way's about here. Yeah, same, same things, I've got to get rid of uh, a few pinholes and stuff, but that's nothing major. Just what I'll do tomorrow is I'll go over the whole lot with 120, and, uh, and then I'm going to use uh, a U-Pole Reface, a polyester spray putty. I'm just going to do all the flat panels all the way across, and then I'll block sand, sand that down with uh, 180. on the uh, bottom of this door. Pretty decent scrape. You can see it. Pretty good sort of a scrape dent there. Let's pull that out. Huh? It's nasty. Um, a few dents up here. This side had no rust in it at all anywhere. It was good. Just a few like a uh, shopping cart uh, dance in it. And whatever doors opening, parking lot dance, what do you want to call them? Um, there was a crease down here. That's all, all done. Yeah, so sorry about the lining, it's terrible, I know, but here's the front of it. So, yeah, this, this uh, car's come up pretty good. Sort of a dent from here all the way down to here. And as you can see, if I put a straight edge across it, you can see where how low it is. There you go. Quite uh, up to a quarter of an inch down. Up to a quarter of an inch in some places. So I'm using a dent puller. Pull it all back out. It's going to take a bit, but it'll come out. Might have to shrink it as well. 
and then I've got to take care of this rust over here. Okay, so here's that panel with that dent in it. It's all been pulled out. I welded the, uh, the pins onto it. They gave it a good pull. No, you can't really, can't really tell. Uh, yeah, but uh, most of it's all out where it should be. And of course, there's some oil cannon. Just slight, just very slight oil can. So once I take these off, I'm gonna run my shrinking disc up there and just give it a couple, uh, uh, give it a couple um, shrinks on there and cool it down real quick. Cause I'm pretty sure that that's probably this line here that I've got is probably a little bit proud in the middle and that'll pull it all back in and uh, should be flat then. So I'll just put my first uh, fill over the quarter panel there. They always go way bigger than the repair area. And then sand it down so it's so it's smooth and bright. Okay, so I've marked out for this uh, rear lower quarter panel section that was obviously got rust in it. I marked it out and I've already cut it out. So I'll just uh, open it up and you can see it's got all sorts of stuff in there. I have to clean all that out. See how bad the rust is on the inside of this. It starts to clear up here. But, uh, yep, let's get into this now. The lower section on the Rambler Rosetta. And uh, I cut out the outer section there. And the inside, you can see that it's rusty in some sections there. So what I'm gonna do is, um, obviously I'm gonna have to cut this out here and cut that out there and replace it but I'm gonna get my hand sand blaster and I'm gonna blast all that and see how how bad the rest of it is but I you know it looks like it's pitted but it looks worse on video than uh, it does um, so yeah I'm gonna uh, get that I'm gonna sandblast that and I'll show you what that looks like once it's done so here's the uh, the inner water panel and that section that was rusted out, I cut it all out and uh, had a couple of holes up there, so I you know, welded them up. I obviously uh, sandblasted those areas and it's uh, down the metal, so uh, let me show you what I've done. So here's the first section I made. Um, it's just sitting in there, so, uh, so it uh, folds around here, it folds around and meets this side here, so here it is here. Goes in there, and I'll make I'll make the other section. So I've gone off and finished the, uh, the inner quarter panel section there, and uh, now I just prime and paint that just with just to protect the welds and the, the bare metal, and then I'll start making the outer skin section. So I've uh, made the section for the outer skin. Um, so now I'll, I've just got it tacked in and I'll fully weld that shut and I'll grind it and then I'll prepare that like I did the rest of it. And I'll be back. outer quarter panel uh, section is is ready for some filler. So uh, that's what I'm up to. Next is I've got to repair that and then I'll I've got a few little marks here in the body that I'll get out while I'm at it. And hopefully by the end of the day I'll have this all, all done. In, uh, ready for primer. So this quarter panel's uh, about done. I just gotta uh, sand it off. One twenty. 
know I'll just uh, go over it with the uh, 120 to smooth it out. And uh, so this is all done. The repair that I had there done, and there was one here and this big one right here. The inside, as you know, was done. The inside of that one there, just a small one. And uh, he's underneath. And uh, now you can see, see those holes? They mimic uh, spot welds, like the other side. I mean, little round sort of spot welds. All right. <coughs> the top's done. It's ready for polyester. There you go. Okay, I uh, just finished all the repairs on the passenger side. And uh, so, like I mentioned probably earlier that there was rust section right here. There was rusty, uh, another section here. And uh, there was a section here too. Um, I had to fix the inner of this area here too, the inner lower quarter panel as I explained. Uh, on the earlier part there and there was a intersection here I had to fix and it had just little superficial dents all over it over here I had to pull out this dent as I uh, explained earlier um, so that's all done it had like little dents and scrapes and over here this area here the door had been rolled around I had to fix that uh, few dents on the lower here and up the top obviously shopping cart dents or something um, remove the badges obviously I'll just get to the front. and over here it uh, took a bit of a, a hit here and I still got a little chip I gotta just tidy up there but uh, Fix the uh, top here and down the bottom. This was all tucked around and bent. I had a crack up here, so but that's all done. Yeah. All right, so it's all taped up, ready for the uh, U-Pole reface. Uh, it's basically uh, a polyester uh, filler that I use. It's a pretty high build. So uh, here it is here. Here's one can of it anyway, it's U-Pole Reface. And uh, I always use the uh, U-Pole um, body filler as well. I like the Fantastic. It's good stuff, it's lightweight and it uh, sounds really good. So there it is, I, I'm gonna put plastic over over the, uh, from where the uh, paper is, over to the other side for overspray. But uh, yeah, I uh, just uh, give that about two or three coats. And um, yeah, so guys, uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Um, they just sent those springs over from Australia for the uh, for the Commodore for the U. Uh, it took two weeks for them to actually send it, so I'm figuring in another week, week and a half before they get here. They shipped them a couple of days ago, and I'm still waiting on that quarter panel as well. You know, uh, things are slow at the moment, but uh, anyway, I'll keep you posted with some other things I've got going. So, thanks for watching, and please, like I said, uh, if you can, like and subscribe, and uh, hit the notification uh, bell. It'd be awesome. Thanks, guys. See you soon.